Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry. And today we are out here, finally, they hooked up the water. Yes. We've been waiting like four to five weeks. If you're doing any kind of construction and you rely on any utilities or power company, whatever, to come in, don't expect anything quick. Two, uh, two months delay is nothing. I mean, they get business way behind. Business booming right now. Yeah, business is booming right now. The economy's roaring in the construction world anyway. Yeah. So it's, it's really busy. But we got water. <laughs> mm -hmm which is a good thing. Man, yeah. And right now, we're not gonna run it to where the houses are going. Uh, we got this field planted, and it's been raining like crazy all winter and spring. Yeah, and then right up here, we plant this stuff. It, it rains, rains a couple once, more days. Twice, yeah. We got a couple days, wash the seed down the hill, wash some of that topsoil off, and it hasn't rained since. Been Thank God it, it, it's still growing, and it's, it's doing pretty good, but we wanna get some water on it. This came just at the right time. Yeah. So we're just gonna put a little temporary service away from the road a little bit. Hopefully keep the hoodlums from messing with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then- uh, Just give us something to tap into so we can sprinkle the field and uh, just wash up more muddy. Finally, we won't have to exactly. bring extra water to wash up and- We'll be coming back and redoing this when we run a trench all the way up to yeah. the house, but we don't have the trencher right now. We're not set up for that. We got a lot of work going on. We're gonna get this temporary water in and yep. it's gonna be nice. So let's get to it. Let's do it. We're not gonna go too deep. We're beyond freezing nights and we're gonna be digging all this back up and doing it again. So we're only gonna go about six inches deep. When we do the final, we'll be about 18 or 20 inches deep. Okay, we got the trench dug, but now we have to do some detail digging around the water junction box. So here's the box they put in, and as you can see, it's a pretty small box. We bought a bigger one to put up here for our hose connection, and as you can see, there's really no room to work in here. It's very tight quarters. On the bottom of this box, there's generally speaking a line in and a line out. So we're gonna have to dig the existing box up from the waterworks, make our connection, and put the box back in place so that we can do our connections in that confined area. Nice clumpy soil. Typical Carolina clay. Okay, hope you guys like my nice green kneeling pad here. This used to be under tents when we went camping. Dad bought a huge piece so that it would be under the tent and as a walk area outside the tent, you can get your keep your feet clean, get in and out of the tent and not worry about getting dirt everywhere. As you can see, it's dwindled to quite the small piece in the last 25 years. <laughs> so, all right. Now we are gonna dig out for our junction to hook up a water hose right now. And this is the tub we bought. We bought it at a big box store. It was about uh, $12. It is 10 inches round and about 12, 14 inches tall. It has a 
spin lock system and you got a finger hole you can drop your finger in to open it up and has an inlet and an outlet if you need it all we need is the inlet just to bring the water line in and we're going to do all our work down in here they make rectangular boxes or they have the round ones all various sizes we went with the round one because it's economically priced and it'll do whatever we need done out here so i guess right now i'm just going to mark roughly where i want it we figured after digging for about 10 minutes and not making it very far, this ground has turned very, very hard in a short amount of time because of the lack of rain. It's Carolina clay. Yeah, it's, do that. it's Carolina clay. It gets really hard really quickly. Now by the road, there's not that much topsoil. Up in our land, it's, it's better, you know, but down here by the road, it's pretty solid, isn't it? Yeah, it's very solid. So we, uh, we diverted our path and made it a lot shorter. Just going to drop it back here behind the post of the fence and... Uh, Wait until we get the trencher to go any further and make our actual line up to the house sites. This will get us through. Yeah, this will get it done. All right, I'm going to mark where I'm going here, somewhere in here, and I'll start digging that bad boy out. Gotta love a good Fisker's all-steel shovel. Thing is extremely solid. And sharp. It's heavy. It'll work your arms when you're using it, but man, does it dig good. Ugh. It doesn't bend. That's no. Not a bit. And Brian, he's kind of built like a Sasquatch. If he don't bend it, it's probably not going to bend. <laughs> yeah. That's about right. So y'all can say you had a Sasquatch sighting today. <laughs> Are you calling me Harry? Yeah, slightly. All right, it's set. We got it uh, pretty level. It's down in the ground where it needs to be. So now we're going to run the line and uh, get it buried, make our connections, and we should have water here pretty soon. Okay, before I put this fitting in, I want to clean that up a little bit. Again, just eliminating any chances of getting any dirt. Want a screwdriver? Just a second, let me show them this. As you guys can see, there is a plug in the end of the valve that'll keep dirt from getting in the hole. And that's where you gotta remove and install your connector. Yep. Okay, screwdriver please. Thank you. And we pop that bad boy out. There's a little bit of dirt around that edge. See it? Yep. Okay, you got the tape. Okay, now we're going to wrap this really tightly so that the tape goes down in the grooves. Additionally, you want to wrap in the direction such that when you're screwing it in, it doesn't try to unwrap your tape. So if you're looking at the end of the connector, you're going to be going in a clockwise rotation. If you're looking at the end that's actually going to screw in, you're wrapping it in a clockwise rotation. And it should be about three layers thick. That should be about it, shouldn't it? Should be. Snap Just that bad boy sure. off. Okay. Okay, now let's put it in. Okay, time for some pliers. Or channel locks, I should say. And we'll come back and check this joint. And we don't want to get it too tight. We don't want to break the plastic. But we'll come back and check it after we get the line in and make sure that it's not leaking. If it is, we'll snug it up a little more. That Teflon tape really helps. Yeah, it does.
Alrighty, let's get some pecs in here. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, now what I've got to do is put one of these PEX connectors on there and then use our handy dandy crimp tool and it will crimp down on the fitting and give us a watertight seal. Okay, as you can see, you take your crimp, your crimp goes over the PEX, then you slide your PEX onto the fitting. And that's a three quarter PEX, three quarter outlet, and a three quarter pipe fitting, right? Yep. And then, you want to hold pressure on this inward so it doesn't rock around on me? Show sure enough. Thank you. Then, right here on the side of my crimp tool is a little white dot. That is actually a blue light. So when I have applied proper pressure, that will light up and let me know that I am good to go. As you can see, it lit up blue. We are good to go. And then all we do is twist the ratchet release and it's good. Okay, let's move up to the other end and get this bad boy hooked up. Okay, I could measure the pipe and get it cut to the proper length and then make everything up inside that box. Or since this will fit through the hole, I'm gonna go ahead and make it up after I get it measured where I want it and then just slide the whole thing through the hole, set the box down and I'm done. Step back, make sure it's good and tight here, or yep. positioned properly. You could throw some of them dirt clods on it. Throw some dirt on it just to help hold There's... it in place. Get one of these big heavy dirt clods. A couple spots. That ought to do. Yep, we should be good. Okay, I'm going to cut this a little bit long because it'd be nice to have it a little closer to the top when you go to hook it up. If it won't work out, we'll just keep it lower, but we're going to cut it long and see what happens. And do a dry fit, not actually connect it, just slide everything yeah. together. What do you think, right about here? Yeah. And you can cut a little off when you get in there if you need to. Yep. We may need to invest in some new cutters. These are kind of old. Yeah, they are. Put that back in there so it don't get dirty. turkey out there yep that's definitely too long okay to show you up close as you can see this is way too long and this stuff is pretty stout it doesn't want to flex much so I've I obviously see this is too long if I want this near the top I want to cut right about on this s on plumbing systems and I'll drop it in there and we should be just under the top with it so while holding this bucket down so it don't go all over I'll reach in Cut that bad boy off. Now we got a big milkshake straw. And test fit this bad boy again. And that will be perfect. We can reach in there, turn that on, and we're all set. Okay, so now I'm gonna build another connection and just gonna, again, gonna slide the crimp over the pecs. And we use stainless steel crimps because they should last. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get my handy dandy crimp tool. Oop. There you go, blue light. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll slide that bad boy through here. Hey, you wanna turn it on and test it before we do all this? You, need, uh, you got it crimped. 
Everything's crimped. Okay, yeah, before we bury it, let's try it out. Shoot it out on that field. Good, good thinking there, big guy. You want to go turn that on at the main? Okay, hold tight. Don't turn it on yet. We're going to yep. pull it over yep. there by the field. Okay, to turn this on. You sure you got yours off, Brian? Yep. And you just, uh, this thing is crosswise with the pipe. It's off. When it's in line with the pipe, it's on. And you can hear the water. Oh, oh it's not tight. Oh, stop. Turn it off. <laughs> I didn't put tape on my connector. You retard, you didn't even... <laughs> you didn't even... Bring it over here. Okay, so here's what you don't do. You don't do a dry fit to show you guys what's going on and then forget to put plumber's tape on your fitting because water goes everywhere. So now i got to drain the water, dry it off, tape it up, and put it back together. Turn it on let it out. It's probably... Most of the pressure is probably out of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had one of those moments. This is when I say, as Sanford and Son would say, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know the water's on. Yeah, don't get that full of dirt. I'm not, I'm gonna set it down. At least we know the water works. Definitely got water. You know what, before you put that valve on, why don't you point that pipe out in the field and I'll crank it up and let it shoot some water out and clean that line out. Okay. You want to do that? We could do that. Just in case there's any boogers in it. Okie dokie. Oop. Stepped on my mat. Hit it, Sam. Hold on. Hey, point it right at your face. That'd really be cool. How about I point it at you? Oh, no. We can't do that. Hey! Hey, we got water. That should be clean. Hope you guys enjoyed that first burst of water with a slow motion. We just, we love slow motion. <laughs> but uh, now that we're back to this, we're gonna make sure this is properly taped and tightened so I don't get soaking wet again. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay, again, remember to have your Teflon tape running in the direction of the twist so that you don't pull it off when you're tightening the item up. And also remember to pull it nice and tight so that you get down in those grooves. You want to do about three wraps around the whole thing. Oops, slipped on me there. Got to keep it pulled nice and tight. Keep that thumb on it or else it will come untwisted. I'm not a pro at this, so it takes a little bit of work to make it happen. Oop! <laughs> There we go. That's done up. Let's get it screwed in there. Okay, now I need some channel locks. Okay, now I'm gonna give it some final tightening. It's an awkward angle. And we're not plumbers, we just pretend like we are. That's it. Make sure you, you get your pliers going in the right direction so that they close as you push them. I think that bad boy's pretty tight. And that's about the right angle. We know the water works, it's not leaking, so let's get it in the container and get this bad boy buried so we can go home and eat some supper. Home and eat supper? We gotta get a sprinkler out here. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Food is for the week. Okay, that's in there. Get my gloves on. And I'm gonna start filling this hole in. Tamp that. Your left. Huh? Your uh, left side down just a little bit if it'll go. That's good. 
Okay. It's a little crooked, but this is a temporary. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is just temporary fix. It's not permanent. Don't get water or dirt in the spigot. I'm trying to avoid getting it in there. Stick a cap over it. Why would I want to go and do something that makes sense? Line my grooves up and twisty twisty. He's kind of smart every now and then. Yeah. It's amazing how much dirt goes back in that hole even with that big old canister in there. Yeah. Isn't it? It's a lot, that's for sure. Get a few of these roots. Ooh, that's a big old root ball. Yep. Okay, we're just going to fill the rest of this hole in. No need to show you guys that. And uh, then we'll get a sprinkler, get out here and get to doing some water. And we'll be back shortly. Okay, well, I got the hole filled in and Dad went to the Homely Depot and picked up a sprinkler. Yes, it's a... Melnor. Melnor 9610. And... This thing, you know, they ch -ch 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 comes back and forth. Well, it says it'll do uh, like a 360. So I'm seeing this tab here and I think, okay, what's that do? It shuts, turns this, flips this little lever, goes back the other way, flips that lever again. And I said, well, heck, it's going to always go all the way around. I want one I can adjust. And I talked to a landscape guy there that said, yeah, you have these little set screws you have to adjust on them to set the di directions and all. So you got to keep a little screwdriver around. When I picked this one up, I looked, well, there ain't no screw place. And then it hit me. There's two little things here. Now it'll only go till it hits that, and then it'll go back. Boom, boom. If I want to make it even smaller, I just keep closing in on this, and it'll only go to there, back and forth. So every time it hits one of these tabs, it goes the other direction. That's nice. No screwdriver, very simple. I like simple because I don't Quick want and easy. to have to carry tools around. So this is going to be really nice. I can't Especially wait. Especially with setting it up around the field, you don't have to keep unscrewing and screwing things. Right. Let's start out with it pretty straight. That way mm -hmm. we're limiting where it goes and probably won't get wet. <laughs> and we want to be on the side where the water doesn't come out. There's the water hole. Yeah. We want it going that way. Let's hook this sucker up and give it a try. Yep. Hopefully that don't leak. Go turn our water on. Alrighty, well, uh, that's about it. Yep, we got the sprinkler going. Hey, right there. <laughs> yeah. And it's another milestone. We've got water on the property. Yeah. This is a milestone. Yep. We've got grass growing. Well, wheat, oats, some rye uh, grass. Rye. We've got green stuff growing on the ground green out stuff. there. It's, Woo, it's getting misty. Crimson clover. Crimson clover, some Austrian winter peas. Yeah, they have real pretty flowers on them. Yep. Can't wait. The bees so, will love them. We'll give you guys updates as the field progresses. Yep. And I guess that's about all we got. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check back often. There is a lot more coming. Yeah, Brian's going to stay or go home and edit this video for you to watch. Yeah. And I'm going to stay here and move this sprinkler head around the field. So. He's going to nap all night. Yep. Well, <laughs> I'll just be out here in a couple hours or something. Yeah. So. Have a good one, guys. Y'all have a good evening.